Hello, collective. Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. Um, this Light Worker Collective reading will be from. Mm, I'd say I wanted to do it for the new moon in Aries. I'm getting something as far out as the Scorpio full moon. So. Yeah. <laughs> You might want to write this stuff down and or come back to it throughout the month. Um, from what I'm seeing just by the cards being laid out right now. <laughs> yes, I'm terrible with intros. Hit me up for a private reading. Everything will be down in the description box. I have oils. I have an Etsy store. All of my details are down there. So, I also, I do energy clearing too. So I'm happy about all of it. I'm just so tapped right now. I can tell the moon is in Aquarius. So, um, if you'll excuse me. I love you guys. All right. Yo, I was doing the numerology. I looked at this pink moon super pink moon in Scorpio after this transformative new moon that we're going to have in Aries everything is picking up big time <laughs> for those of you who have gifts that is the honest to goodness what I'm seeing here there has been things that are closing like doors you know just and you're, the good part about it is, is you're at peace with it. <laughs> like, I could tell that um, from the energy that I'm feeling, that you're not, you're doing your best to let what's in the past in the past and really finally heal that and you are there. You've done a lot of work I see from the last reading for the collective I'm picking up here um, or this is what you can be looking forward to okay we have two tens here so that is endings and the one is a master number right in the dead center right now <laughs> however the re Recent past position, yeah. And I'm telling you, when you flipped out, it was exactly what I needed. So, look. This is in the recent past. The serpent. That's why I said this thing goes all the way out to the Scorpio full moon. Um, Leading up to that full moon. You're still healing a few things, I see. Yet, this is the recent past. You know... So, like I said, it's like one door after another closing and you're at peace with it. Finally, like you can release it and not you're not looking back no more. Many of you went through a very transformative cycle. Ten. End. Goodbye. And right now, I think you're mastering your thoughts. The taming the wind here. Yeah, I'm actually not reading the cards this time. I'm just going by my intuitive um, abilities with this. But I'm pretty sure I'm spot on. This is a master number. This is exactly what you're doing. However, the numerology with this is a 10 and a 1. It's a brand new beginning. <laughs> and you... It's like the door closes and you're walking through the next dimension. <laughs> That's bizarre, dude. Like, and I'm letting you know. Get prepared for this. If this isn't happening yet, be prepared for this. And I, I feel like when the moon shifts, I've been feeling that big time. Some of you might as well. <laughs> Every time it goes into a different sign. 
my whole energy shifts through these. So, with Taming the Wind, air sign, we're in, moon's in Aquarius right now. Some of you are really trying to, like I said, get a grip on, I think, grounding because you're grounding all of these thoughts in that you've been having and, you know, basically taking what resonates and integrating that and taking the soul fragments that you received back because you were getting them back in the last reading. And if it doesn't line up, you're like... Getting rid of negativity and your ability is getting activated this whole month with lightning coming in. Flame lightning. Yep. I always have to say this because we could have an increase in thunderstorms and stuff like that. Obviously, it's spring, but when I look at lightning, look. On the inside here, this dude is getting lit up. So some of you, your DNA is activating. You're gonna feel this all month. Yes, you are. <laughs> yep. You're gonna be getting downloads like a sucker. Your core is lighting up. Your creativity is lighting up. Your that very well, like I said, these very well could be downloads coming in right now, getting activated, and you're to ground them. That's what you're going to be doing all month. This energy is here to stay, apparently. <laughs> and any of you who are prophetic or a seer, get ready, because your gifts, what is at the bottom of the deck? The eagle. You can see perceptions way above rest. This is what's going to happen for you. I mean, last time we had the hour, we were able to see our darkness, darkness, and others, like, to the core of the soul of yours and others, and fix it. Work on that healing. And many of you took your power back. Mm-hmm. Spark on your own generator, I see. The energy coming in you have the ability to do so when you do man please ground it <laughs> like we're the earth keepers here you know that's a nine that dude okay some of these um downloads you get might feel really burdensome just saying they might seem burdensome nine represents you know worry with the like the nine of swords card insomnia like some of you might be find yourself having a lot of electronics burning out from grounding this stuff just saying i feel that heavy yeah okay some of you might need to get surge protectors. This is real. <laughs> I have surge protectors on my stuff. But some of you might need to get some surge protectors. <laughs> yeah, my phone's been acting up too. Like, I'm trying to free up storage and not going there. All right. Many paths. You very well with taming the wind and lightning coming in with the earth keeper grounding it, your intuition's gonna be litty because of this, you already know what, how dark forces work now. Like your, your discernment, I feel, you're gonna see um, your discernment come up higher Vision quest this year is your outcome too. Like I said.
collective, the path that you know you're to walk, get on that sucker and look straight ahead. It's going to be beautiful. None of us have the same two paths. We're all different. And I really feel that, mm, oh yeah, okay. Um, two sevens. Yo. a download about this card. This is the obstacle here, is this many paths. And I feel that as long as your heart and motives and longing are wanting to do things to please the most high and to help humanity because it's why we're here oh my hands tingling you're gonna do just fine yo you get on that path i think some of you have like a lot of different um Line, okay, lines in the water, I guess you could say. I'm seeing like fishing lines. And some of you might be trying to consolidate and get everything organized as well. That could be an obstacle this month for you, right? Because you're getting these downloads and stuff, but you have like... You're trying to put it in order, I see. You have a lot of opportunities coming in here, too. I mean, it's leading me back to God. So, now how God's going to be helping you. I love this. And I really feel like this is because of every season. Um, and who Mars is in, in the astrology. And because he's a warrior. However, warriors can be on the offense or defense. You're going on the defense. It looks like collective. This is how God's going to be helping you. And I really feel it's putting a fire under your ass. And a hunger. for the development of yourself and giving out to other people. You, you've had this vision for a while. And things have just been, like I said, falling into place. And vision quest is your outcome. If you can get through this obstacle and get everything in order that needs to be in order, because by this full moon and this is the obstacle we're going to be in tar season coming up here with the earth keepers so with Saturn being in Aquarius with that those coat mm. <laughs> downloads coming in and trying to get everything in order. And God's going to put the fire flame under your ass to do it. And whatever your vision was is coming into fruition. Like you're going to be well on your way. It's going to be blessed. And your intuition. I'm going to tell you how I know this too. Okay. 
with the eagle here. This is also this is at the bottom of the deck. This is in the upright. This always represents the prophetic gifting, the fears, the um, psychic anointed ones. They see for miles and miles and miles away very clearly. Some of you very well might be getting um, your sight improved as well. I've been praying for that. Either way, and look, these all came out in reverse. And as I was like, oh, why are they in reverse? Because I always look at the bottom of the deck, and this is at the bottom of the deck. So I always look to see what's underneath it to see if there's a storyline. And sure enough, there is. Spirit showed me the storyline for this. All the way up to your inner child with the council in the upright, right around, right with the Ardenian cross. <laughs> you have the blessing of the angels, and that's an 11, too. Well, 7 and 11. The angels and the Most High to help you on this mission. Your inner child is getting, has been getting restored big time so that you can finally see as clearly as what you need to, to help yourself and to help others. Some people might get very uncomfortable with this. I'm just going to let you know that. Oh, well, be yourself. Soul Retrieval. I knew you worked on that. That was in the last reading. In reverse. Done. That's getting finished up. That Coyote Trickster Energy. Done. You got your emotions under control with the heart of the sky. Done. Lower world. 3D. Done. Thunder. And those karmic energies. Done. Holy Mountain is in reverse done like I said with the eagle on top of it it's game over and lights out dude The holy mountain being in reverse means that for this, that you had the faith of a mustard seed and told those mountains, get out of my way. It's over. You have the faith of a mustard seed. Where are they at? <laughs> That's Celtic deck. I do love this deck. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, there's Scorpio again with the um, Knight of Swords. Gemini Scorpio. Fast moving communication. Um, Earth shaking communication is going on here. Oh, dear Lord. Two of Cups. Soulmate energy. Or someone's getting told to um, the truth, finally. It's not going to be, you already knew, it's not going to be shocking. And yes. All right, spirit. Why a serpent here? Why that here? Look at this serpent. Pink full moon. I always take them in the upright. And there's four that came out. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Four swords. Ace of Wands. The world.
Mm -hmm. So it's maybe not on the deck. I really look at this as Uranus and Taurus. <laughs> Energy. It's like taking the plow to the ground. You move that slow. But you had to get to the root of some issues. Four of swords. Some of it wasn't very pretty. I know. <laughs> I've been there. Yes, I know. They were hard lessons. But you're better off on the other side of it. We're going to see this. The fruit of our labor is coming in, collective. There's the Ace of Wands. Full, this is New Moon, Aries. Yeah, that's pretty much when you could say this is going to start. World card. <laughs> the Serpent. Transformation. Into, from the old cycle, into the new. 10-10. The world card, there's an 11 in this deck. Ace of Wands, new start, happy end. Yeah. Man, you guys gotta tell me you guys think this didn't make you smarter going through this. <laughs> Harsh process is what we had to do, but heck, looks like the gifts are Keep on giving. Thank you, Lord. Alright. Taming the wind. Why is that for the right now position? Moving into this. Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Taming the wind. Opportunity. Opportunities everywhere. Emotional fulfillment. Pisces card. an opportunity. Look at all that energy. It's been, you've been talking about it. Kicking around ideas. Very well could have to do around work. Maybe emotionally fulfilling. And the downloads you're getting. Otherworldly shit. Let's put it that way. So you had to get rid of that old mindset. That you weren't good enough. Like, you did. It's like it's go time. Activation. Why are we getting... When I say activation. Lightning. Seven of Cups. And all my options. Options everywhere. Judgment. Four of Pentacles. Extra sensory perception. Having <laughs> faith. Got to go by faith, not by sight. As you see, he has the blindfold on. It's a new beginning. Judgment. You're being, yeah, you're being reconciled with that inner child there. Completely healed. Like, this has been happening. You're getting all these cups from me everywhere. They're all activations. <laughs> Very well could be your seven chakras too. Just saying, seven of cups, seven energy centers. All getting lit up. Because it's time. It's showtime, folks. <laughs> what is happening to me? Ground, you gotta stay grounded. Really try to stay grounded. I know right now I'm like, Phew. and no, I'm not high. This is just the energy that happens to me when the moon goes in Aquarius. I have Mars here for my sakes. So, plus Saturn's here, Jupiter's here. There's a Saturn going on right now. See, I talk about them in cards just now. I ain't taking them, but I look at them at least. Like I said, two of wands, eight of wands, told you, communication, about which way you're going to go, 
It's up to you. Pretty freaking awesome. Alright, why is the Earth Keeper here? Why is the Earth Keeper here? Number nine. This is heavy. Heavy, heavy stuff. You guys. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at this. The Earth Keeper. Get your birth right back, folks. Boom. Justice. Libra. Full moon energy. Ground in it. Ground in it. You're ground in it. Saturn energy. Oof. There's a lot of things here too. A lot of pentacles. Yeah. You got the world. You got judgment. And you got justice. Are you freaking with the queen of wands? The earth keeper? Earth keeper, you're getting your birthright back, guys. I sure, you know, you get your ducks in a row. Buy that Scorpio full moon at the latest. Shit gotta get balanced and done. Yeah. Well, I'm not taking it, but it flew. Two, like I said, you gotta balance it. She's also holding like the scale, of the infinity. Those are her ancestors behind her. You're getting your birthright back. All right, many paths. Six of wands. You're going to be victorious. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on God. Consult with God. Okay? Seriously. He's in this with you guys. He what wants this to happen. Page of Wands. I'm telling you the truth. There's more lightning coming down. A ask. Page of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Many paths. Obstacle. Know that it's yours. And guard it with your life. It's guarding your energy too. Mm-hmm. I think you know this already. You know. If not, this is your test coming up about guarding your energy and your path. And you'll see it a mile away. You've already gone through these tests. You, you're, When that child came up in the upright, I knew that you got your soul fragments back and your inner child is being released. <laughs> you're getting your birthright back. The hunter. Some of you are going on the offensive. God's just going to put that fire under your backside. Because you're getting infused with it all month. Yo, if you're praying a prayer language, do it as often as you can. Thank God every day. The gratitude, you know, attitude. No matter what, hunter. Slicing and dicing, people. Yo, you're probably going to be, um... This coming in with the hunter. Look. Yes, you can see into the dark people's souls. This is a test. Not to, you know, get caught up in your head. Because I think that people might try and gaslight you. And I, you very well could be like, not today, Satan. Uh-uh. Nope. So you're going to be able to see very clearly these people who had you caught up in your head. They're in big trouble. Hold on one second. Up. 
Sorry for that, dude. Oh, yeah, by the way, some of you very well could be very fertile, too. The Empress didn't come out yet, but I'm just letting you know. I have this really fertile energy. Like, I think if anybody comes to try and disturb your peace with the hunter here, they're going to get hunted by the most high. Period, point blank. Wow. Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here, Spirit? With the Hunter. Two of Cups. Oh, dear Lord. Whoever was caught up in their head or a situation or a possibly a soulmate that tried to um, mess with you, I'm here in flip mode squad. Looks like somebody was caught in their head. Either that or God's freeing somebody from being caught in their head. Yeah. King of Pentacles. This goes into Taurus season. Queen of Wands. Under that. Six of Pentacles. Page of Swords in reverse. The Moon. You don't see this coming yet. And you and the Seven of Swords. You're not gonna see this coming. This is something divine that God is protecting you from. Okay. And I think that you're going to find out about it. But, um, it won't have, like, that effect on you. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, someone was kind of watching you and... Sitting on your throne. Queen came out too. Queen of Wands. What? Aries season, Taurus season. The Sun card. Just popped out here. There's something that's going to be restored. God's going. Mm, the angels and God are going to get your, your shit. Whatever was taken is coming home. Period. Duh. God wants you to be happy in every area of your life with your gifts enhanced and on your purpose with time. All right, vision quest. Why is vision quest here? Queen of Wands is giving it to you right up straight. Mm hmm. Aries season. Yo, brand new passion, baby. Passion for life. Passion for purpose, passion for destiny. Forging the way. Pushing forward. You're going to have a clear road. As far as the eye can see. Vision quest. Evil. Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands with vision quest? Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Hang on here. Somebody's not going to be very happy about it. Like I said, be very careful with fertility. Somebody very well could be getting pregnant. Or you could be looking very good too. We have a Ten of Wands with the Queen of Wands. It's another Ten. Tons of endings. I think leading up to this, 
the outcome. You are going to be walking by faith and not by sight. You're over being burdened. You're over it. You're like, you know what? This has gotten pretty far. Wish fulfillment is coming in. All those cups that were hidden, even back there in, in the mountain, I can now see them clearly. Mm -hmm. This is interesting because the bottom of the deck, like this, look. You're going to see anybody trying to come up the rear side. Mm-hmm. Any five of swords, anybody who's in, in things for empty victories, you see it a mile away. You feel it. You sense it. They can't get away with it. Mm-mm. Sorry. And you want to know what? I'll just throw this out there. I'm an Aries. So I see this shit a mile away. Mm-hmm. We usually feel it, too. Oh, look what's under that. Yep, we're done with the devil energy. Over it. Anything that has to do with um, jack wagons who are toxic. Yeah, it's um, a no go. Mm -hmm. Especially if it was a toxic um, four of wands. That's all I have to say about that kind of toxic, fake, false, phony energy. You're going to see right through it. It really feels you're on. This is going to be a big month for you, Collective. I hope you're ready for it. <laughs> and it looks amazing. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you. You take care. And... Please like, share, subscribe. I will be uploading this at one point. I got to do a video for Myst Mystical Illumination still for my intro video. But I wanted to get this out. Little did I realize I was going to go up to freaking Scorpio soon. Or the Scorpio, excuse me, the Scorpio full moon. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love it. Spirit's been giving me stuff here all the way out. Like I said, you're going to have to refer back to this. But I guarantee it will resonate even more. <laughs> Give it a week or two. I'm foretelling the future, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Congratulations on all the hard work you did. And Blue Flame Integration loves you. God loves you. I hope you had a happy Resurrection Day. Jesus lives. Mwah. See you later. Bye.